Hello students. Good morning everyone. So now in this video I am going to discuss John Teller effect also called John Teller distortion. And this is one of the most important concept in coordination complexes. So after the crystal field theory to explain the geometries of the complexes the scientists John and the Teller two scientists combinedly given a statement that is what we call it as John Teller effect or John Teller distortion. Let us we go through the John Teller effect. <coughs> so before we go to the John Teller effect, let us we understand the statement given by the John and Teller. According to the John and Teller, any non-linear molecules, any non-linear molecules having unsymmetrical configurations unsymmetrical configurations in degenerate orbitals undergoes geometrical distortion geometrical distortion to get stability by losing or by decreasing energy so they explained the land the geometries of non-linear molecules non-linear molecules means especially in coordination complexes in case of square planar complexes and octahedral complexes why there was a distortion in their geometries they explained see and one more thing unsymmetrical configuration this they told so what are the differences between symmetrical configuration and unsymmetrical configuration so when we call the configuration as symmetrical configuration symmetrical means when we call the configuration as symmetrical when the configuration when the central metal ion having empty empty field half field fully filled and fully filled plus half filled configurations then we call that metal ion that complex having symmetrical configuration in case if they have the symmetrical configuration they are already stable so for the stable complexes no need of any distortion they are having regular geometry regular geometry so the John Teller distortion will not occur in case of symmetrical molecules suppose if any central metal ion not having empty field half field or fully filled configuration then the configuration we call it as unsymmetrical configuration in case of unsymmetrical configuration containing metal ion complexes they are unstable so definitely to get the stability there what there was some kind of distortions happens okay clear now so before we go in detail about the John Terry distortion let us have a brief recap about crystal field theory as we know according to the crystal field theory when the ligands approaches the central metal ion, the five degenerate T orbitals splits into two sets of orbitals, as we know. So, three orbitals we call it as T2G set of orbitals, and two orbitals we call it as EG set of orbitals in case of octahedral complexes. So, the five D orbitals are splitting into T2G set and EG set. And this splitting of degenerate orbitals after the ligands approaches the central metal ion we call it as crystal field splitting. Okay, now <coughs> in case according to this, based upon this, now I am going to uh, draw all the 
d12 d10 configurations whose configuration which configuration is symmetrical which is unsymmetrical once we clear about it then which configuration containing uh, metal complexes are having regular geometries and which complex are having distorted geometries we can clearly differentiate it okay let us and here i am writing d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 d7 d8 so if you take a d1 in case of strong field here strong field and here it is weak field so here i am writing it to this end strong field and weak field in case of strong field strong field means what they are low spin complexes and they do not follow arpo principle while they are filling the orbitals in the two sets of orbitals weak field means they are high spin complexes they completely follow arpo principle so d1 so it has only one electron so definitely that electron will enter into t2g set of orbital in both in strong field as well as weak field d2 also same d3 also same so whereas from d4 onwards there was a difference in the uh, filling up of t2g and dg set of orbitals let us say d4 1 2 3 this is a strong field so it doesn't follow how how go principles the fourth electron will enter into t2g set only whereas it is following how go principle so the fourth electron will enter into eg set So like this, if you draw for D five, D six one two three four five six one two three four five six two three four five six. Next seven electron will enter into E G set. Here one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. For D nine, I am drawing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. In case of strong field, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the D ten configuration. So after that, let us see that it is not having empty or fill fully filled. So D one does not show this is not having unsymmetrical configuration. Even D two is also not having unsymmetrical configuration. D three both strong field and in weak field having half filled configuration. Half fill means T two the set is completely filled. Any set. So half in, half in. So D three having symmetrical configuration. D four, it is not having, and it is also not having. Next D five, for D five in strong field it is not having, but in weak field it is having half in configuration. Next D, so this is a D five. Next D six, D six in strong field it is having, but in weak field it is not having. Next to D seven, if you see, it is again not having. It is again not having in both cases. D eight, if you see, fully filled and half filled, it is having. It is having. Next to D nine, it is not showing. D ten, it is showing. So overall, after we see the configurations of from D one to D ten, what are the configurations which are? Uh, having symmetrical configurations and which are having unsymmetrical configuration. Let us write configurations. Just tell me what are the configurations? Symmetrical configurations. See, D one is not having D two. D three is having. So D three. Next D four is again not having. D five it is not having in case of strong field, but it is having in case of weak field. So D five in case of Weak field. Next D six in case of strong field. 
next d7 is not having d8 is also not having so d8 having in case of both so d8 and d9 d10 so d3 d8 d10 these three configurations having symmetrical configuration both strong field and weak field d5 having symmetrical configuration only in case of weak field d6 having only in case of strong field if they are having symmetrical configuration they are very stable they are stable so no need of any distortion so the john teller effect distortion is not observed in these configurations so they are having regular geometries regular geometries whereas in case of unsymmetrical unsymmetrical yes what are the configurations having unsymmetrical configuration d1 d2 d4 d1 d2 d4 next d5 in strong field d6 in weak field next d7 and d9 so these are the configurations configurations having unsymmetrical configuration if they are having unsymmetrical configuration they are unstable so to get the stability what happened the john teller distortion is observed in these configurations if there was a john teller distortion then definitely their geometries are somewhat distorted so they are having which geometry distorted geometries distorted geometries okay so just remember these configurations and uh, what is the difference between regular geometry and distorted geometry regular geometry and distorted geometry is by taking in octahedral complexes octahedral species so regular means in octahedral complexes there was a metal atom and uh, surrounding the metal atom six ligands are there then the complex we call it as octahedral complexes so this is central metal atom there are four ligands at four corners of square plane and these are the two ligands which are axial above the plane and below the plane total six ligands all all perpendicular to each other so the bond lines are 90 degrees so all six metal ligands are equal in bond length this is a regular octahedral structure coming to the distorted geometries either above this axial bond or this bond or both either they may elongate it or distort it see metal so this is elongated octahedral complex this is contracted octahedral complexes these these two are regular octahedral geometries okay and one more point so i think you have an idea what is the difference between regular and distorted geometries and one more thing in these configurations we can observe this distortions and especially when you compare d1 d2 d7 d9 d1 d2 d7 d9 in d9 and d7 okay we will observe maximum distortion 
Whereas in case of D1 and D2, distortion is minimum. Why? Because in D1 and D2, very less number of electrons. One electron or two electrons. So the repulsions are less. So the distortion is also less. Whereas in case of D7 and D9, there was a large number of electrons in the D subshell. So more repulsions. The repulsions are more there. Distortions also maximum. So among these, which is showing the maximum distortion? D. Okay. I hope you got a clear idea about the John Teller distortion. Okay. Thank you, and all the best for your work.